everyone. Um, I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how to upload assignments to the Florida Virtual School part-time um, classes. I've been in these classes for a while now, um, since eighth grade, and I'm now in my senior year. And uh, this is one of my classes, economics, but one of the things I struggled with when I first started Florida Virtual School and got a whole new um, perspective of the online classes, well, my hardest thing was um, uploading assignments and getting those assignments into my teachers because I wasn't sure how to save them, um, what format to save them in, and where exactly the tabs were to en enable me to upload them and um, for my teacher's view. So today, of course, I'm using the economics class as an example. And this tab up on the left corner, it says assessments when you um, uh, go scroll over it. Um, and once you click this, these are all the assignments that need to be submitted into your teacher. As you see, there's some honors assignment depending on what um, you're currently enrolled in. You can be honors or non-honors. Um, but today I'm going to be using the 3.01 Could You Be an Entrepreneur assignment, for example. Now we're going to go to the Lessons tab. Um, once you scroll over it, it says Lessons is a little booklet. And it takes a minute to load. All right. So these are your modules. The modules are um, different topics of assessments. Usually your first module is going to be more of an introductional uh, module for you guys. Um, mostly for any classes on Florida Virtual School, is just the way they do it. And then once you progress into Module 2, 3, and so forth, then the content gets more in-depth of what you're learning. Um, so right now I'm in Module 3, and I'm going to be doing the 3.01 Could You Be an Entrepreneur assignment. So you're just going to click that, and this is how the platform looks like. Um, the first page is going to be mostly describing the objectives of the class, what they expect for you to learn and take from the things that you read. Mostly with Florida Virtual School, there's mostly reading content. Some classes have a lot of videos, some classes have a lot of reading, such as history. This class especially has a lot of reading. Um, and science has a lot of reading as well as like lab videos and such. But mostly you're having to read it yourself. It's really an independent study. So um, depending on what classes you have, um, you'll have a bar that shows you progression in this specific lesson. Now this specific lesson has three pages to navigate through. So the first is the introductory, the second is more of an in-depth as you can see. Um, it has interactive such as games and foot cards and stuff so it's pretty cool. Um, and then the last page is usually your lesson summary. So it show, it's basically giving you a conclusion of what you just learned. And then it gives you your um, assessment that you need to place in your assignment, that you need to do your project. Or it could even tell you that you need to do a worksheet or an exam. But for this one, I wanted to show you the assignment because this is the most thing that people struggle with. Is figuring out how do I put all this content into a Word document and submitting it. So... Um, so Depending on what assignment you have, um, it's it, it will you know differ on the content. For, for this one, it's about an entrepreneur, and it seems like I have to pick someone that has been a big entrepreneur, as you can see the names of these big um, developers. Um, so basically, what I would do is I would copy all this assignment. And once I've and done that, right um, I actually have Mac. So Mac is kind of sometimes a struggle with Florida Virtual School because a lot of my teachers, I've, I've learned from talking to them, actually have Windows. But um, instead of wearing, uh, using Word docs and such, I use Text Edit, which it comes already installed in Mac um, stock. So you can find more about um, working you have that already online. also another program I use is pages um, but that is sold separately with Mac but it's really helpful because it has graphing now, earlier, um, I mentioned that you could table of contents to, all that kind of stuff which is really cool so that's something to look into is pages um, so once I done that I copied my assignment then I paste it and once it's paste I um, have it in my document and I can name it here as 301 um, assignment that's what I would name it and save that there and I go ahead and do the assignment look over it do what I need to do and then once that's done I save it now with FLVS they want you to save it either as RTF or PDF which I usually save as RTF because of the fact that text edit 
automatically saves RTF. But if for some reason the teacher is not able to view it or something, then what you would do is you would go to print, and then at the bottom left it says PDF, and then you put save as PDF. And then you can just put PDF at the end of that, and you can submit select where you want to put it, which I would put on my desktop just to let you, you know, just to save in, just to let me know where it is. So I'd save that and it would be right there on my desktop. So then I just click out of this and I go to submit it, which I go to the assessment tab at the top left. And then I will go to my 301 assignment. And this is how the layout for the assignment um, submission is. So usually your teacher may put a little um, note here just to let you know any important information. Um, also, there's a student comment, so if you need to write something such as, um, thank you for looking over my assignment, or maybe you need to then to know something specific, that way they don't get something confused, then you can write it here in the um, student comments. Um, and then... So you're going to go ahead, um, down here you can either drag the file, but sometimes it can be difficult because your whole um, web um, browser would go into the assignment for some reason. So I just upload it and I go to desktop and I uh, select it and I put it in. And then what you want to do, which is very important with Florida Virtual School, is at the bottom right before you're going to go to s save it and submit it, you need to click submit for grading. You see how that button changed? It went from save for later to submit for grading. Because if you're not done with the assignment, then you can save it for later, but if it's done and completed and you want your teacher to give you feedback and be graded, then you need to click that um, box there. And then you would click Submit for Grading. Um, so that's how you submit an assignment from the uh, economics course. Um, it's an it's, uh, example, but that's how you submit an assignment. And once that's those assignments are submitted, you can go to this three bar um, selection up on the top left and this is a whole menu of um, options that you can view which is your lessons, your cor course information which um, has your teacher's contact, your page chart, what assignments you need to be getting in each week um, and so forth and you have your assessments, you can also access from this, this um, menu and then you have your email you have your discussion um, groups, which is usually you rarely, once in a blue moon, have these discussions um, where you talk to other students in like a form and you just submit your topic on what the assignment was and they have to respond in order to get even their um, points for their assignments. And then um, your announcement takes you back to your um, main page where your teacher's usually profile picture is. Um, but one thing I want to show you is uh, the grade book. Now the grade book is where all your um, all your feedback from your teacher is going to be. Um, so as you can see, I got feedback here. Now we can go into one example um, that has feedback. So this is um, my 2.2 assignment, what happens after high school. I had to submit it and I got 100 out of 100 possible points. Um, and my instructor included the feedback here, um, and she's able to tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, um, what I need to improve in, but it seemed like she did like my work here, so she uh, gave me a, um, a good comment. So that's how it goes, and that's how you're able to submit and get feedback from your teachers. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys that because it can be a little bit difficult and hard to figure out if you are new to the online classes world. <laughs> so I've been on it for a while, so if you guys have any other questions, I'm here to help. Um, just write in the comments, and thank you for watching. I'll bring out more videos here soon. Thanks.